Hi, it's Dawn here at Rivet Media Solutions and I just want to share a tutorial on how to set up your Facebook Messenger so that you're basically offering outstanding customer service on your Facebook business page and this is something that I come across when I'm in my Facebook workshops and people say to me um, you know they, they get worried about the communication coming in via Facebook because they're busy you know in their everyday business and by having the Facebook Messenger on they just feel that it could potentially be quite overwhelming for them because everybody expects an immediate response when it comes to Facebook and social media so this is going to allow you to manage your customers expectations and prevent you from feeling overwhelmed if you do get multiple messages that come through during the day but you find you haven't got time to respond to them straight away so this is kind of twofold really it, it manages your customers and it helps you at the same time so we're going to dive in and take a look at this and the first thing that you need to do in your Facebook business page is click in settings which is where we are at right now once you're in settings this is the page where you are going to be and you've got the general first of all which is here so what you would need to do firstly is click in messages here and once you've clicked in there just make sure you've got this uh, little box ticked so that says allow people to contact my page privately by showing the message button so the message button is something that you will have on your uh, business page uh, I'll just give you a quick look so it's going to be here okay so that means that people can have the button on uh, your Facebook page and message you there so what you would need to do is once that's been set is on the left hand side click in messages here and once you are in here this is incredibly simple uh, to manage and to set up so the first of all um, the first one here is general settings uh, use the return key to send messages you literally simply click on yes or no what that means is if you type a, a paragraph for example hit return then it's going to send that message out immediately and then you'd have to type another paragraph hit return and then it will send the message so I generally don't tend to like to have that on because um, I prefer to write my message and then just hit a send button so that I can read it back make sure that I'm happy uh, no spelling mistakes it sounds correct so personally for me I don't like having that feature on but that basically just uh, that's just to let you know what that is there uh, what we're going to do is first of all I want to take you down to this area here which is the send instant replies to anyone who messages your page so this is how it will look if you've not got this set up uh, and to set this up you simply just click on this button here now this is at a, uh, a facelift uh, in the back here I'm shooting this video uh, at the end of May 2016 so constantly as I'm going in here um, things seem to be changing on a very regular basis and that's because Facebook are working incredibly hard to make Facebook Messenger a really important tool within their business and I think already the stats are at something like there's nearly a billion uh, users of Facebook Messenger so this is why now they're trying to create an amazing customer care uh, experience for people with Facebook Messenger so in here set that to yes and what this is is instant replies are a good way to let people know that you'll respond soon so again going back to what I said about people being overwhelmed by messages that come in via Facebook Messenger this is a great way to manage your customers expectations you've got 250 characters here uh, that you can actually uh, put a message in here so by putting your message here I've got thanks for con messaging Rubik Media Solutions now if I take that away and then I just click on here for you add personalization put the first name so what I'm now saying is thanks for messaging Ribbit Media Solutions now it will say your own name so don't panic about that uh, the person who's messaging you it will say their name uh, so this is just to give you an idea as to how it looks so that's great because again first of all they're going to get an instant reply but now you're actually using their name as well I only use the first name but if you've got the type of business where you prefer to use people's first and last you simply put the last name in there and it will give uh, the first and last name as well so obviously that's dependent on how you generally tend to communicate with your customers uh, so again please note that this is an automated reply and we'll be in touch within the next 24 hours to respond personally to your message 
Uh, so you literally can just write whatever you like in there. And again, if you want to put your website under there, add personalization, you could put your website, you could put your phone number. Obviously now we've, we're moving out of the 250 characters, so you'll get a highlight in red. So I'll take that out. I'll pop uh, my phone number. So I've set this up in my about section. So it's picking up all the information that I've already set. Address. So again, if you've got a business address, then you can pop that in there as well. So you can personalize this message to say whatever it is you want it to say. And that literally is it. You click on save and then it's done. So if you want to kind of have a quick look at that, I'll quickly go in here. See this here? So that's the person sending you. And this is now your automated reply that goes straight out to that person. And I'll just quickly show you how this looks. So in here, what I've got is, um, as you can see, I just did a little test earlier on. Uh, I did one there. So I did one there and I didn't have that set up. So I had it on the off. And then as soon as I clicked on the yes, I said, hi there. Uh, could you tell me when your next Facebook workshop is? And again, what that's now done is that automatic reply went straight out to respond to that there. So what that has now done is given you the peace of mind that Facebook's working on your behalf and looking after your customer care service for you. And then you can decide whatever the right time is for you to reply to messages. And it could be that you say, I typically respond to all messages at approximately four o'clock or you know or, or leave it pretty open that's completely up to you but this is a great way to let the person know at the other end that you have uh you know you've been they've been recognized and also that you are going to be in touch with them so moving on to this next section here show a messenger greeting so this is create a greeting that people will see the first time they open a conversation with you on messenger so by clicking that to on what this is also now doing is, um, I'll click on change. So say for example, somebody's just never been in contact with me before. Uh, the first message that they're going to get from me, it'd be a little pop-up like you saw there, I'll go back into that in a second. Uh, on the top of their screen is just a little welcome message. So it could be, uh, you could put hey there, and whatever the first name is, depending on how you generally tend to speak to your uh, customers. So again, literally add the personalization, first name in there. Oops. Obviously, you've only got 160 characters in here, so keep an eye on that section there. Take that out, put the personalization in. There we go. So it's basically saying, hey there, Dawn. Thanks for connecting with Ribbit Media Solutions via Facebook Messenger. Let us know how we can help you. So that's just a really nice little message. I'll click on save, and then if we look where it is, see there? So that's the first thing that they're going to see, and then they can type their question that they have for you there. So again, another great feature to make your business look really awesome. Now, I'm going to show you another way, which is enable away messengers. Okay, I'm going to take that off. Uh, I don't generally tend to use this one for my business, but if you're the type of business that's open nine to five, um, and or it could be that um, two days of the week, you, you're just generally not in your business because you might have the business where you're out on the road and you can't reply to anything, then again, this is a good way for you to set this away message. So it's a little bit like having your, um, you know, when you go on holiday and you set up your auto reply in email, uh, all of this is very much, uh, you know, and that type of um, messaging really. So click into there and had yes. So you could just say in here, um, uh, our opening, oops, our opening, if I can spell that, hours are between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and a member of our team will be in touch tomorrow to handle your inquiry or something to that effect. So you're telling them that you're out of, so you're not having to write that all of the time. Um, but obviously you don't really want that on uh, during the day. Uh, so you can see there, it's just popped up. So that might be a response you don't want to have on during the day because you possibly might be able to get back to people during the day. But on the evening when, you know, if you don't want to reply during the evening, then this is a great way to set the expectations for your clients so that they know that, somebody's available to speak to them within you know the hours of nine to five and that's when you do your communicating so again 
customer service is incredibly important and if you can you know if you can reply to people quick then that's fine but if your business doesn't allow for that because of the team and the structure that you've got in place then set the expectation from the offset and it could be then that this goes on a weekend and just say you know we'll be back on Monday to respond to any questions that person will be happy then if I got this message to say that there's nobody available and somebody will be in touch on Monday, at least I know that that's been dealt with and um, I know what to expect. So test test this out and see what works and see how people tend to respond to this. You know, I've had people send, you know, one back then saying thank you to the automated reply, which is wonderful because they're happy. That means somebody's got that message, they're happy that they've had something and they're there ha therefore happy for me to respond in the time frame that I have personally set for my business. So this is an incredible function. So make sure that, so obviously if you've set your office hours and your business hours, then this will be applicable and you just simply click on the yes feature there. So if you go into Messenger, um, at the bottom here, so this is you now in your, uh, so you've got your page, you've got messages. So in here, what you've got is this little button here, click away. And then that means that uh, that will be, um, you've, you've, set, you've set the away message basically. So now what that's gonna do is you're away from business and it's going to enable that that's gonna be able to kick in for you. So I hope this tutorial of um, messaging and providing exceptional customer service uh, has helped. Test it out, see what works and enjoy.